Thanks for joining us on the Boonies Gear channel and today we are out in the mountains camping and we brought along with us the Lucy Solar Inflatable Light Plus Mobile Charging. Now these came out on Amazon a little while ago and uh, they have a few different iterations of these. They have some that just is the lantern and this one actually has a solar panel that charges the lantern and it's supposed to charge your cell phone. So we're going to go ahead and open it up now. All right, we'll go ahead and put it in the sun and get it charged up and see how it works tonight get some video footage but I think we'll put it in the sun and I'm gonna hook it up to a uh, cell phone we'll see if it uh, does definitely indeed charge like it says it's going to so let's go ahead and open this guy up let's go ahead and cut that all right all right there you go give you kind of a idea what that looks like looks like it pulls open pretty tight looks like we've got a little charge cord too what do we do just blow it up i think so yeah that could have been any less noisy huh <laughs> it's definitely not a very dignified lantern is it okay let's try that one There we go. All right. So it looks like right here is where you would plug in. So this must be to charge it then. Uh, should we see if it has any power in it? Yeah. A little bit. Nice. So it says it's supposed to be 150 lumens. So it'll probably be a lot brighter um, tonight. Something you would take up camping with you, either car camping or backpacking. Perfect to put inside your tent or maybe even a little night light uh, I believe let's see how many hours it says it says it'll last up to 50 hours on a single charge so that's actually a really long time so you can get several nights camping with that this light would be perfect maybe to keep in an emergency preparedness kit keep in your car um, so it's it's definitely cool and it actually feels like this little airbag here it feels pretty good I guess that's thick yeah, so that's it doesn't feel like it's gonna plastic, yeah. yeah it doesn't feel like it's gonna pop anytime and it looks like we've got a little clip here oh, so you can that'll allow us yeah so we can go ahead and clip that and that'll give you something to hang on nice. so all right well let's go find a power cord and hook up a cell phone and see what it looks like okay so as my lovely assistant just pointed out to me <laughs> it does have uh, different power modes so you turn it on and that's one so there's three different settings here and then there's a flash wow it says it can hold up to 150 pounds of pressure waterproof and then it's supposed to have a battery indicator oh yeah you can see it you probably won't catch it on the camera but look so it's got three lights one oops one two three looks like there's another dot here that's not lit up so we'll say it's three quarters charged already that guy in there. We'll see what it does without the light on it. So her phone's at 81 percent. Looks like it's saying 33 minutes until fully charged, uh, which you know really isn't that bad. So let's uh, stick this guy in the light. It's not liking my cord. It keeps 32 minutes. It keeps vibrating. Well, maybe you can't be charging it in the sun while you're charging stuff on maybe that interrupts or something. I don't know. It could be this cord. It could be the cord. Let too. me go grab a different cord. So our phone's now saying 50 minutes to charge. We've already sucked this this down to two two battery or two dots instead of the three it was at. We've lost our sun. It looks like we got a, another rainstorm maybe heading in. We're up here in the mountains and the weather's been kind of unpredictable, so it's not been real great for sun. But we'll go ahead and leave this out and see if we can get a charge on it and uh, see how it looks tonight and uh, mess with the different settings. Um, so we'll keep playing with it, we'll keep videoing and uh, see, uh, see what we think. Alright, it's about 11 o'clock at night. It's pretty dark out, the stars are out. So we're going to take, take this and go ahead and turn it on. So this lowest setting, turn it on to the brightest setting. So we'll just kind of walk out here in the dark. Hopefully you can still see me. 
but we'll keep it up here. So as you can, well, I don't know if you can tell on the camera or not, but it's actually pretty bright. Um, it does a pretty good job, and actually the higher you go, the more area it covers. So, and uh, we've actually kind of been playing with and using it uh, for a little bit here, uh, going around the campsite looking for different things, and it seems to be pretty good. So uh, first impressions, impressed with it. We'll keep playing with it. Uh, when the sun comes out tomorrow and we get a little bit more sunshine, we'll keep trying to charge cell phones with it and actually see how well that works. But uh, I believe it will do it. And uh, we did get it in the sunshine a little bit and it charged it up about back to three quarters, but uh, it's been kind of stormy on us. So we'll keep working on that. We'll add a little bit here to the video, but this is what it looks like at night. So uh, this retails for about 44 bucks, $45 or something. I think you can find them on Amazon for like about 38 bucks. Anyway, uh, definitely worth it though. I think they're really cool. Zoom up here a little closer. But anyway, so it's already bringing in the bugs, so. Alrighty, well we'll try charging the cell phone on this and see how it works a little bit later. And uh, so I'll see you then. Okay, so we have the solar lantern here. It's in the sun. We've got the cell phone hooked up to it. And so the question we really want to answer is, will it charge the cell phone off the solar panel? Um, but maybe charge itself. So right now, we decided, oh, it's at one dot. The cell phone is at 43% in charging. So we'll see if it's gonna drain the battery on this or if the solar cell is gonna be able to charge the cell phone um, with the battery being almost empty on the solar lantern. So we'll keep an eye on it and let you know what we find out. Okay, we've had a little bit of time to play with this and uh, what we did is we put it in the sun, hooked up to a cell phone to see if it would charge the cell phone off the solar panel and what happened is it sucked the battery down on the lamp to a point where it wouldn't charge the cell phone in anymore so there's not enough solar capacity in the light to just charge the cell phone based on the solar so what you need to do is make sure that the lantern itself is fully charged and then charge the cell phone off of that um, but I, even at that it's still actually a really cool lantern uh, something we'll definitely keep using. We're uh, very impressed with it. Build quality is excellent. I do recommend having this in your inventory of camping stuff or overlanding or backpacking, whatever you're doing. I think this is a fantastic lamp for that uh, or, or emergency preparedness. But other than that, really excellent. I think you should buy it. Okay, if you found this video useful, uh, please subscribe to our channel. Give us a like. Uh, leave a comment. I do respond to the comments that are on there. If there's other particular products you would like to see us review, definitely let us know. And uh, check, keep checking back with us and we'll review more products and we'll call this a wrap. Appreciate it. Thanks.